Welcome back to Budget with V. My name is V. I'm a 26 year old Australian who has been just starting to make these videos this year. Um, this today is going to be my March budget. Um, this, uh, sorry, if you're not aware, uh, my hand is just a little bit injured. So <laughs> that just hurt me. I'm not used to, um, it still so I'm still accidentally hurting myself but anyway just ignore that <laughs> for this month um, I me and my husband or my husband and I are estimated to earn a great income because it's a three pay month which means we're hoping or we should be earning eleven thousand three hundred and ninety five which is amazing but in that same amount we still need to provide just as much like three lots of mortgage payments instead of two three lots of like other payments that sort of stuff but some things we have been able to reduce because of um, it being a five-week month I'm so sorry about the mess that you probably can see so Oh, I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm so sorry. I feel like I've just filmed my other video. This this is my second video for tonight. And I'm feeling a little bit, oh, sorry. Anyway, whew. yes, $11,395. Let's get in to the expenses. So first of all, our mortgage um, is... I'm going to be going up. So I've already upped the payments from last month so that we are paying like a $30, the $30 that it will increase by early um, just to get us used to it. So uh, three lots of mortgage payment will cost us $3,420. Subscriptions, $96. Phones, 80 So that's gone down because of my husband's um, phone bill going down. Internet, 45. This is also down because they overcharged us again last month. So um, we followed that up and they've credited our account. So we should only have to pay 45 of it instead of the full 70. Utilities um, and bills. We are hoping to put $895 of our pay towards these because we're, if you saw my last video, you would have seen that in utilities and bills, we are at negative 491 because of an unexpected couple of utility bills that we apparently hadn't paid from our last property without sort of knowing because they readjusted um, the bill. They undercharged us and then they sent the bill. I've also heard that there is a um, $250 power bonus in my state that's going to be released late March. So that will also boost that um, fund up a little bit more ready for winter, which would be awesome. Car insurance, 75 for that. Home and contents insurance, 112. Groceries, I've put up to $1,080. So last month, it's actually really nice being able to go back, isn't it? I really like it. So last month, what did we put? <laughs> we put down $700. Oh, but it, I'm so confused. Oh, I know. It's because of the three month, the three pay month. So I've put, even though there's still only, what, one, two, three, four and a half weeks. I guess it's sort of a five week month for me. Um, but I do it on fortnightly basis. So I still have to pay for some of April's food, the start of the month of April, um, with this money. So that's why it's at 1080 It is up still again, though, no, from last month. I have increased the budget because of the costs of things. Petrol, I've put 324 for the month. Health insurance, 66 for the month. Haircut, 90 for the month. Water connection, $106 a month. Dogs, I've put 920 
$5. So that is to pay for some of their food and treats, but also for my dog's operation, which should cost around 500 or so. Rates, putting 283 for that. Gifts, 15. Health, $350. Car rego, $75. Car service, $270. Spending, um, $1,200. So that's the um, $200. So basically $100 each a week. Easter slash Christmas, I'm putting $80. Home, $30. The dentist, oh, the dentist, jeez. For the dentist, we have both have appointments next month. So, oh, I guess, well, in April and they're going to be quite costly again. Um, but because of this health insurance, we're hoping that will cover like 60% of one of the bills, I hope. But we're trying to save the amount anyway, just in case. So this will save a good chunk of it. Um yeah, so that'll be $717. Emergency fund, we're putting $50 a fortnight. So that's $150. Miscellaneous, $15. Savings, $120. So that's something new. We haven't been able to put just solid savings away for a little while um, without sort of just trying to do some of these bigger things. Pay back to the account 345 plus anything extra that we earn other than this estimated income, which is usually quite a bit with Josh's um, sort of side hustle, but we don't count on that money. We just sort of use that to plug holes basically <laughs> some of the time. Like if sometimes we go over in petrol, depending on what we're doing, um, it's very easy to overspend at the moment, I feel, even when you're being or trying to be careful and you're trying to set yourself some limits in terms of spending, all of those sort of things, it's still really hard. I don't know. It's very difficult. Let me know if you're feeling the same way or if you feel really on top of it. If so, I'm jealous, but I'm really happy for you. <laughs> um, eating out, which doesn't come out of this number because I get a separate little food card that's like tax free, a certain amount that I can with my job. Um, that's 265 a month. We've been better at keeping um, our eating out down so that we only spend it off the card. We barely spent anything um, in February other than Josh's work food, which gets reimbursed anyway. Um, yeah, so I hope that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but <laughs> um, out of this money, nothing is going to tax and nothing is going to the buffer. I'm going to put $75 towards professional membership and $255 towards the gym. So that's $75 a pay towards um, a trainer plus a little bit towards our gym memberships for next year. So all of that adds up to a total income of $11,395. So going into fortnight one of March, I'm just going to show you what I've got planned so that you know. So this is for my next cash stuffing. So we're expecting $3,798.50. Of that, um, the sinking funds, that will that is just one third of those prices from one third of those costs from the previous page. So it's been divided up. Um, and then for this fortnight, um, this is my cash stuffing plan. I've got $360 towards groceries um, minus, what did we spend? $40 um, that we've already spent. So that's actually 320 now. $5 for miscellaneous, five for gift, 400 towards spending, zero that I'm going to be putting this fortnight to Christmas, but $30 to Easter, $10 to home and 80 
towards savings, which you'll see what I do with in my cash stuffing video. Oh, okay. That's super exciting. So I feel like now that I've got this all on paper, I'm feeling a little bit better about some of these unexpected large expenses. It just shows um, we're not too sort of far behind with things. We're just needing to keep plotting away so that we can keep putting these amounts. We've still got these um, getting built up quite nicely, some of these sinking funds. Um, and it's really about, I guess, our priorities at the moment are paying back ourselves to the account. So this one here, um, the dentist this month. We are getting car the car serviced at the end of the month, so that is needing to be a priority. The dog operation this month as well. God, there's so many things happening. Obviously, getting that utility negative bill back up is a priority, but that'll just hopefully tick away. Um, and I guess health as well, but I think these are good for <laughs> priorities. So. If at the end of the month, these are where we are, where we sort of plan, I'd be really happy. Just if we can put away 345 back to the account, 717 or around about that for the dentist, um, get the car serviced and funded for that and the dog. That would be great. All right, let me know what you thought of my March budget. Um, if you think there's areas that um, we might need to change up or do differently, please let me know. Um, it really does help when getting advice and stuff because even though I do love budgeting, sometimes it is a little bit stressful um, just not knowing if I'm doing it correctly. And I don't know if that's strange. Like it's probably no right or wrong way per se of doing it. But I just feel like it's really hard to stick to a budget even when... I don't know. I feel like I've been trying to make the budget a little bit more like realistic rather than goal orientated. Like, okay, I really want to only spend 600 on groceries for the month, but that's not reality. Reality is I need to spend more than that because the grocery groceries cost more than that. So instead of getting myself stressed over going over budget, I'm going to put up the budget to something reasonable. But it's about balancing that with also trying to save money too. So, I don't know. Let me know. Please let me know your thoughts down below. I'm really keen to hear. Um, but anyway, I'll see you next video for my cash stuffing for March. My first one. Yay. I'm so excited to get paid. <laughs> All right. Um, catch you next time. Bye.